In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new two column feature within Designer. So I'm logged into Designer. I'm going to use content from this site called Outgrow. We're currently working with Outgrow promoting their product. And I want to convert this uh, blog post stroke sort of training document into a magazine style a document. Okay, so a magazine style ebook. So what I'm going to do is just take the URL and go into designer, click create new project and import it in the normal way. And when it comes up with the template selector, I'm going to choose the two column templates. Okay, so I scroll down past the standard ones and here you'll see the two column templates. So I literally click on that and I'm going to type in a title and now it's going to import it and lay it out in a two column format. Okay, so you can see now we have dual columns here. And so if you compare, you know, the original post here, you can see obviously all the, this navigation has been stripped out, the top navigation and at the bottom, all the navigation here is all gone and we're left with just the pure content. And so what I'm going to do is just a couple of um, things just to take this format up a level. So first of all, I'm going to, this font size, if I click on paragraph and go to the text style here on the left hand side, I can see the font size is 18 point. So I'm going to reduce that to 14. Okay, so that will help me get more content per page. And um, I'm going to do the same with the headings as well. So instead of a 32 point heading okay um, then I'm going to change this to a uh, 20 point heading and you can see that it changes throughout the whole document and even my headers up here I'm going to reduce that down to 24 point so I'm just going to scan through the book and check everything else looks all right now I can see these lists here these are still of the old uh, 18 point format so I'm going to grab a list item and at the top here I can see the navigation to the list item and I'm going to go up a level to grab the whole of the list style which is, which is OL and change that to 14 as well so that will mean that all my list all my lists in the whole document will change okay so we're pretty much there um, the last thing I want to do is just get rid of all this blank space okay so you can see now I've made the font smaller. I've got all this blank space below the text. So what I do is I grab the last paragraph and I click on this icon here, repaginate. And you can see all the text gets pulled in and it drags up all the text from below all the way to where it next thinks the next section starts. Okay. So for example, here, um, it hasn't pulled in text here because it thinks the next section starts here with calculators. So it kind of makes an educated guess that this is where the next topic that you're writing about starts. And so if you then want to clear out any extra blank space down here, you can do the same thing. Um, but in fact, it all looks pretty good apart from this word um, over here. Example, that really needs to be down here. Okay. Um, because that is linked to this paragraph. So now what I'm doing is I'm just scrolling through and making sure everything looks good. And you can see all the formats done well. Um, and you know all the images have been resized for this. And lastly, what I think I might do is just take the styling up for this magazine and just put a little gray column in the middle of the magazine. Okay, so what, the way to do that is I highlight one of these columns. Anyone will do. And I go on the left hand side here down to border. Remember anything in this margin, in this area applies to the whole document. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the whole border by clicking on this square here. So it's selected the top, the right, the bottom and the left hand side of this container. And I'm going to select a color. So I'm just going to do a very light gray. Okay, and choose that, and then give it a uh, um, an actual um, line. Okay, so you can see what's happened now is it's if I move my cursor away, you can see it's put this faint 
line in the middle, okay, and at the edge, which matches the headers. And it's obviously done that through the whole document. And this, you know, really lifts it um, and gives it a uh, much more sort of authentic magazine look. Lastly, what I want to do is obviously change the cover page. So I'm going to go back up here, um, just select the cover page and choose the set cover page icon here at the top. And as we're talking about interactive calculators, let's just type in the word calculator. Because this is what this company does. And I'm just going to select this vintage style calculator that appears here and put that in there. OK. Um, put my name on it as normal. And of course, I can do a bit more and, and, and change some more colors, etc. All right, and there we go. And so all I need to do now is just publish that out. And here it is. Okay, so here is the ebook all completed um, in two column sort of magazine style format um, with a nice sort of gray border in the middle, um, which is what I wanted to create, obviously. Okay, so that's how you create a magazine style format using Designer.